scientists said, let's separate the lunar module and have it impact the moon just at the right distance away from this seismometer that they put there and we'll measure how it vibrates and that'll tell us what's going on in the center of the moon. Traveling at almost 3,800 miles per hour, the used vehicle slams into the moon's surface, creating a 30-foot wide crater and a moonquake. The results recorded on the seismic sensors astonished NASA scientists. When they saw them on the seismic record, it was ringing like a bell. It just wouldn't stop. This, of course, set off a search to try to find an explanation for what this big difference between what we see on Earth, where the earthquakes only last for a few minutes, and on the moon, where they go on uh, for hours and hours. Scientists who were willing to think outside the box said, hey, that's hollow. We have a hollow moon. Once you go down the path of a hollow moon, everything is on the table. So if the moon were hollow, what would that mean? Well, obviously, it's not a naturally occurring phenomenon, so it's got to be artificial. Somebody put it there, someone built it. First men in the moon. Theories about our moon being hollow have become common in science fiction stories, but don't fit with mainstream science. The idea that the moon could be an artificial space station, how difficult it is just to get our space station up. Can you imagine putting something the size of the moon in orbit? I don't think so. It has a bigger story. NASA scientists have theorized that the unexpected vibrations come from low levels of water in the moon's crust. The Earth is a water-rich planet. We have water covering the surface, but there's also lots of water that's been buried deep inside the Earth's mantle. When you have an earthquake, the water in the Earth absorbs that signal very quickly, like shock absorbers. But on the Moon, there's much less water on the surface, and then also very little water inside the interior of the Moon. Without the water, it makes it keep on ringing. The idea of a hollow moon remains science fiction, at least for now.